back. Now the Republicans have voted to formalize their impeachment inquiry into the president. Some in the party say they may take their time. Uh, in fact, some in Congress are telling NBC News that the House Speaker may never actually bring an impeachment vote to the floor due to lack of evidence or support. Investigators have yet to turn over actual proof of wrongdoing by the president. I want to bring in now Texas Democratic Representative Jasmine Kroc to talk more about this. Congresswoman, thanks for joining us on this. Um, appreciate it, especially on um, a holiday it's weekend. Um, you think you think this um, you think this impeachment process is going to be drawn out? Oh, absolutely. This is nothing but um, an extension of Donald Trump's hopefully soon to be failed campaign to get back into the presidency. Um, this was never about the veracity of any um, assertions that have been made. And to be perfectly honest, we still are saying, what are what is it that you're e at least claiming that the president has done? Um, their witnesses in the first impeachment inquiry hearing that we have said that they hadn't uh, determined that there was enough to decide that there was a crime at all that the president had committed or even the illusion of a crime. So right now we're wasting more of taxpayer time and dollars, um, basically so that the Republicans can bend, bend the knee to Trump. Um, you had some some viral moments um, in the House Oversight Committee, to say the least. I think a lot of folks are wondering how it is the Democrats are actually going to combat um, this impeachment inquiry, whether or not it comes to the House floor for a vote or not. Um, I want to play some of those moments um, for folks, and then we'll talk on the other side. I am so excited that my colleagues across the aisle care about sexual abuse, considering that the front runner right now for, like, presidency has kind of just been found liable of sexual abuse. Every time we seemingly have a hearing on voting rights, we're talking about the fact that people are cheating. So let's talk about who's cheating. I got a few articles. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets. Looks like in the to me. So, Congresswoman, as we're talking about how Democrats, <laughs> uh, it's good to see a year in re review, right? Um, as, as we're talking about how Democrats um, combat this House impeachment inquiry, are, are we going to be seeing more of that? Is, is there a formal way of combating this, um, aside from speaking I out in the ways that you have repeatedly over the last year? So, I, I don't plan to curse again. Um <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite plan to curse that time. It's passion. Uh, that it's was, passion. Yeah, absolutely. It was not in my written remarks. I just want the people to understand. Uh, you know, listen, I think it is important that we point out the hypocrisy. Um, when we took the vote, one of the things that I did was I juxtaposed the work that we could be doing and we should be doing as relates to the death of one of my constituents who was a postal worker. Um, I think that the average American has no idea of what it is that we're supposed to be doing on oversight because we've you know, seen the nude pics of Hunter Biden and we've talked about impeaching the president, but every time there's a hearing, it's all about Hunter and it's nothing about the president. And it, it is really the pot calling the kettle black, if we can even call it that, because there are some things that we could look into that Trump did during his presidency. Um, this is one of the reasons that he does have 91 indictments that are pinning against him. While he was impeached for at least two particular incidents, there's a lot more to be had. And so I think it is important that we educate the American people on what it does look like when someone is supposed to be under the microscope and face an impeachment. And, you know, we know that our chairman, James Comer, um, wants to talk about a loan that the president had with his brother when he has the exact same situation with his brother. Um, and Comer is currently sitting in office. So, you know, we will continue to point out the hypocrisy. If it was good for them, but it's a problem for us, then we're going to talk about it. Or we'll talk about Jared Kushner and the money that he has received in the billions of dollars from foreign entities, and we know nothing about it, and he was actually a part of Trump's administration. We will bring out all the dirt that really we should be looking at and show that the president is as clean as can be.